think there's different implications with the war that's going on with Israel Hamas. I believe it's going to escalate, and I think the ramifications of the escalation is going to be detrimental. Now, what I mean by that is it's not just the war. It's not just the casualties. Those things are terrible. But are we looking at maybe a push for a new world order through what's going on? Let's talk about things that we're missing because of this war, things that, that we're losing sight of. And if we don't pay attention, these stories are going to impact you more than actually the Israel-Hamas war. Let's jump into it today. This video starts right now. Hey guys, welcome to The Max. Thank you so much for being here today. Again, we're still in Colorado. It's actually freezing. I'm trying to be as warm as possible compared to being in Southern Mississippi. So thank you again for being here. If you're new to the channel, go down here, press subscribe, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down, that's okay. But let us know what you think about this video. Our goal is we build a community to help us grow together and be wiser with common sense. Okay, so the dangers of the escalation of the war with Israel Hamas. I think there's things that we're missing. Number one, the, the pressure of the oil market. We are now seeing that oil could possibly go to 140 to 150 a barrel based on the war because of the ties to Iran, ties to Saudi Arabia, even what Venezuela is doing with their elections. All this is ramifications. All this is because escalations with the war. Iran has already came out and said there's going to be an oil embargo against Israel because Israel is holding things from Gaza. So it's a, it's a domino effect, but ultimately it's going to cost you more at the pump. Our stockpiles are down here in America, and we're not pumping as much. We're dependent on oil from Iran, Russia, and Venezuela, who is on the opposite side of this war, and also people who we tend to call our adversaries. So the price of oil will go up, which will affect you. Remember, it's getting close to winter and traveling for holidays. Both of those things will impact the price going up anyway. So therefore, you're, see, you're going to see a major raise of prices of oil. Another major concern. If you notice, there's been warnings from Europe and America of, uh, you know, retaliation or, you know, some kind of effect, kind of like what's happening with Hamas in Israel, seeing some kind of, you know, copycat effect, seeing chances of terror on our soil. Well, there's a study that came out that Germany is putting in biometrics, meaning to travel from America to Europe or Europe to America, you may have to have some kind of scans that were a little bit more in depth and it's all because of security it doesn't matter about your personal uh, data it doesn't matter about who you are they want to make sure that you are safe by scanning every aspect of you if it's your eye or your thumb are you worried that we are getting too close to your personal um, security being gone all in the name of emergency or security for someone else not that i don't want anyone safe but if you're traveling just remember you will be having to get up, give up some of your personal information and some of your, what I would consider your own personal data because of this. So more biometrics, more security analyzation of you will be intact. And I think this is just a step towards globalism. Uh, we, we noticed that the digital thumbprint, the digital footprint, the digital IDs that are coming, well, we're becoming that more and more because of security and emergencies, like we talked about a few videos ago. So this Israel-Hamas war is pushing that narrative that oh we've got to be safe so we need to know more information about you and getting more of your personalized biometrics into our system number three while we're watching everything else and we have we have beat this drum to its beat no more but the southern border is wide open we are investing tons of billions of dollars across the sea and there's a study that came out on uh, zero hedge it says record number of illegal immigrants pour into the u.s many on the fbi terror watch list we're allowing people who we consider terrorists or ties to terrorism across our southern borders. Does that not blow your mind? I still, to this day, cannot understand why we are wanting to see this happen on our soul. Because we're going we're gonna to face the same push. I mean, again, if, if they're worried about the dangers that terror will happen on our U.S. soul or on the European soul, why are we opening our border to them? Why are we not closing and shutting everything down? and holding fast. That's what security looks like, not letting everybody in. Number four, China has six warships heading towards the vicinity of some of this escalation. They're putting their battleships and their warships just like we're maneuvering towards Israel. Are we truly looking at an escalation of a world war? 
Again, China and Russia are hanging together as two world powers, and then they're hanging with Iran. Iran had already come out and said they're going to back Hezbollah and Hamas if Israel goes into Gaza. Well, then all of a sudden, Israel says if Iran actually gets into Hezbollah and Hamas and they start funding them more to, to hurt Israel and bomb Israel, they will retaliate into Iran uh, with missiles. So, therefore, now you're looking at America, Israel on one side, and then the Muslim countries with Russia and China sitting there, and their, ba their battleships are sitting there also. This could be very, very dangerous. We're missing this escalation. It's not just about you know, the, the Palestinians or Israel, or if you look in the Christians and Muslims, or the Jews and Muslims. It's so much bigger than that. And yes, it all, go, it all boils down back to a holy war and spiritual war, because again, as we believe spiritually, this is end of time things. But ultimately, this will affect everything about your life because now you're going to see maybe your kids go to war. You're going to see people in major, you're going to see major casualties all because this little escalation and this little problem. And when we start putting our ships over there, what are they going to do? They're going to put their ships over there. It came out that we are putting major missile hubs over there, major artillery over there. I think we're seeing escalation and for some reason we're the ones that seem like we're priding it more and more. Number five, the U.S. embassies across the Middle East, and especially in some of these areas that are uh, more volatile and in adversarial countries, they're saying, Americans, you have to get out. We've seen more and more terrorists hold Americans hostage. And the sad thing is you've seen the American government not do anything to help these people, to get them back home. They'll either give them quote-unquote loan or they'll just kind of forget about them. Don't be caught off guard in being overseas or away from your home without being prepared. That's like us. If we're going somewhere like out of state, it actually worries me a little bit. I have animus. I, I get a little worried to be this far from home. But we also carry an enclosed trailer with just about everything that we could possibly need if something were to go down. Now, I hope nothing like that ever happens. But especially if you're across the seas, you don't have just a private plane to fly back. It's dangerous. We're seeing embassies getting ran over. And it's all because PSYOP and propaganda, just like the hospital story last week, it came out to be untrue. Every news agency covered it wrong. That's misinformation, isn't it? But what we're gonna see is we're gonna keep seeing this escalation to where Americans worldwide and abroad and in these areas that are more um, Muslim-based, it can be very, very dangerous. So please be careful out there. This escalation is going to cause more ramifications for us as Americans than we believe. All right, guys, wrapping it up. Thank you so much again for being here to watch this video. We're seeing uh, signs of, um, of, of true world war. And if not, we're gonna see signs of our military not ready to face two or three fronts like we're putting ourselves into. We are looking at a very precarious situation. All the while, we're allowing terrorists to cross our southern border. It is a proven fact that we're doing that. So solutions, we need to lock down our borders. If the politicians are not gonna do it, then you have to be ready to take care of your home. Like I told you a few videos ago, you have to micro secure, micro build your financial institution. You have to make sure that you're taking care of all your elements, your food, your security, your self-defense, everything about what you deal with. Because right now, we're seeing some escalations that could be very, 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 very detrimental for you and your family. So be prepared. Stay seeking wisdom and truth. Common sense. It, it's a lot of this goes back to just common sense. Close our borders. That would solve that. Get out of everybody else's wars. That would solve that. Ultimately, that would help America be safe and American people be safe. And instead, we want to prod. And that could be dangerous. Guys, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this video. Yes, I do support Israel. However, we, we can't put ourselves in a precarious situation where we blindly just hand money and hand artillery over when we are so stretched, we are so spread thin, especially when our military is at record low numbers, overweight, and also we're trying to fund another war that we shouldn't be in in Ukraine. Be careful out there. Be prepared. Take care of your family. God bless.